Morning, everybody. The pear apple tree. Look, we've been picking the the, the pear apples off. Uh, this is like a Japanese pear apple. They're wonderful. Well, I scoured the tree this morning. I walked by it and I went, oh, it wouldn't be nice just to have one more. Oh. Mmm. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay. Isn't that a nice way to start off your morning? T and I have really been getting along lately. Right, sweetie? Okay, you guys. Good morning. Well, how's it going today, everybody? Um, couple things. Couple things happened to me this week. My beautiful bracelet. And you can see, I took it off and I put it on the dresser. And Pippi and Tippy got a hold of it and wrecked it. Now, the centerpiece ain't wrecked. And I, I just got to, uh, they chewed everything else up though. So I got to take that apart and I'm going to, re uh, paracord that. So I'm looking forward to, looking forward to it. <laughs> Be kind to your animals, otherwise don't have them. <laughs> uh, you know, they're not able to ruin the set, like the centerpiece, it's not ruined or anything, but, but, uh, <coughs> Excuse me, we had a bear, <coughs> bear problem last night and the mace can blew up in my face. Oh, I what a horrible day. <clears throat> so if we look back, uh, my uh, I think one of the videos was uh, 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 fixing the eagle ring. Okay, so the whole idea was with the eagle ring, it needed to have a, a refit. So the band was horribly small and and it was hollow in the back. And so what I did was I cut the ring, right? I know that I have to make it size, sorry, 11 and a half. So I took some wax, wrapped the wax around the mandrel. And then I bent this out a little bit so that it would fit on there. And then oh, I'm only gonna go one way. That side. Literally, look at that, how it just flops in. Right? And so, I'm gonna cast this. And then this, once I tumble it a little bit, that's just gonna pop on there like that. It really will. Not gonna be a problem. And then, so, and this is what I'm talking about, sheet wax on the mandrel. I just cut some sheets and I wrapped it around. I took my time. I didn't I didn't film it. I, I don't know what came over me. It would have been a great little job. And then I got the sprue on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, and I got it all soldered down and I got it repaired too on the back, the broken pieces that were missing. Okay, so that's ready to go now. You don't want to alter it or change it or anything like that. Look at how beautiful round it is. It's the right size and uh, it's an heirloom piece, right? So he was, uh, he wants it fixed. Okay, and that's gonna to go together just perfect. And then, yeah. And then you're just gonna run some solder. We're just gonna, you know, once it goes on there, you can sand it a little bit and everything like that. Put a little bit of solder on each side. I'll video all that. Okay, so let's, let's, Let's turn this off okay. for a sec. Okay, so um, little notepad, little notepad, pen, and this is, uh, can you see me writing here? Number one, uh, two grams. Uh, what am I doing? Two grams. Three grams. Uh, somebody's calling me. I got a call. Okay. Uh, sorry, I got called away there. 
Um, so what did we say we were gonna do? Okay, so we got that, and then here's here's the spur base, and we've measured it. And make sure you don't alter it or do anything to it. Just get it on here. Okay, look at that. Just like that. And then, you know, make sure there's no undercuts or anything like that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so. That's gonna be beautiful. Put this one aside. He's got a little bit of gold here from the bracelet. And then we're gonna, supposed to write on here. Huh. <coughs> uh, uh, two grams, the wax weight, two grams. So uh, two grams would be, we'll figure that out. So uh, 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 two times 11.57 equals, you're gonna need roughly 20, 23.14, so 24 grams plus a few extra, you're gonna need about 20, uh, 27, 28 grams to cast this piece. Okay, and then right right here, uh, it's an eagle shank. Eagle shank, right? So now you know, so that's gonna be number one. So let's go track of things. You don't wanna keep track of his gold and to keep the track of the the whole piece and so you know what materials you use because if you don't understand the amount of material you use you can't you can't build properly okay but that's going to be beautiful all right you guys let's go over and uh do the investing and then we'll go move on from well how are you guys doing so uh i didn't i haven't been feeling too well last couple of days so kind of uh took it easy we uh, left off with the remake of the shank in the back of the ring so what we want to do now is we want to uh, invest this mixing bowl I don't mean to bore you with the, the minor details of life at the studio or on the farm but coffee's very important and you know it's uh, you know it's it's four o'clock I didn't really have a lot of coffee today Sometimes you gotta clean the, uh... okay. Oh, look at the sun's trying to come out. Oh, it's been raining, just horrible, horrible. I mean, it's just, now I see where all my low spots are too. So I'm gonna have to fix up a few things around there. Okay, let's get the investment out. You know, I keep everything kind of semi-organized around here. And remember, if you watch any of my videos before, I mix my invest investment up by eye. Um, so, but we, I do know that this takes four scoops, right? So we're going to put a little bit of a, a top to it. Everything's in a great spot. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm bringing up the, the edge of the cup. So that when I vacuum this, it's not going to be a problem. It's not going to overflow and make a mess. So, one, two, three, four. Add a bit of water in there. Now, I've been... That's something that needs a little bit more. I've been mixing investment for 40 years. I know what I'm looking at. Now, to a newbie or something like that, person is just starting out, measure it. Measure it for a few years, and then you're gonna see what you want, right? And this is not super critical stuff like uh, uh, plastic cast or something like that, where I would tell you to be a little bit more a little bit more rigid in your approach to it. But this is just straightforward uh, Ultra Vest Max, very forgiving stuff. Randolph and Ransom's Ultra, oh look at the sun, Ultra Vest Max. So it's forgiving, 
uh, as long as you have the right consistency, you just stir it for a while. Okay, you guys, let's get back to this in a minute. Okay, so I got it up to a rolling boil. Now nope. turn the, the, the pump off. Okay, yeah, ready? Right, only one in there. Look at that. Get that in there, bring it up to a rolling boil. Close that, turn that on. Oh, look at that. Look at the coffee creme. Look at that nice stuff. Oh, coffee creme. Mm. Darn, that's nice. A good splash of that in there. Okay. Okay, remember what I always say? Clean up after yourself. Your mummy doesn't work here. And if you're lucky enough to have your mum working with you, well, still clean up. Not her job. A lot of this stuff gets edited. That's that. Let's get that out of here. Move it once, put it down. We know that's number one. Leave it. Now we're going to turn the oven on. We're going to program that. And I Maybe what we'll do is we'll end off this video by programming the computer. Okay, so program number three. Ramp one is full to 300. I hold it there for an hour. Ramp two is at 950, up to 750. So the speed that it goes up is at 950 degrees an hour, and I go up to 750. And then I hold it for an hour. And then ramp three is uh, 950 uh, degrees an hour, and I ramp it up. 1350 and that's the burnout that's the burnout temperature it's the maximum you want to go with this uh ultra vest max okay and i hold it for three hours and ramp four now after that three hours i let it go down fully at, at fastest speed to 10 25 and i hold that for six hours not that i I leave it for the six hours. I come in here and it, it tells me, it'll say it's on this one here. It'll, it'll say the last cycle and it'll give me the time that it's got left on it. So I'll know, okay, well, if there's an hour left on it, then I've let it sit for five hours. I, that means I'm not, I didn't come out here till oh, 11 o'clock in the morning because I'm going to set this now. It's four o'clock now. So I want it to start at midnight. I just know to start at midnight. The, the cycle's about till 7, 8, 7, 7.30 in the morning. And then it's on the hold cycle for the last, the 10, uh, the 10.50. Okay, so, so what is that? Six, seven, eight hours. So hold for six hours. That's uh, in the zero start, delay. And then this thing just, what did I say, eight hours? seven seven fifty six eight hours and then double press that on delay and eight hours from now it's going to start so eight hours from now it's going to be midnight and then it'll go through that cycle we programmed and at 7 30 in the morning ish it's going to be finished the last that that cycle to where the burnout cycle of the of the 1350 it's going to be finished with that it's already going to be down at 10 the 1030 i think it is a 10 i believe it was 1030 uh, 1030 degrees fahrenheit and then i hold that for six hours so i know not to come in here at 7 30 and want to cast it because it's going to be have to wait about an hour 
I like to wait about an hour or so. So if I'm out here at 9, 9.30 and do my castings, that's usually a good time. And then when I'm done casting, I turn this thing off. Oh, hi, Jack. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Hello. Hi. Who else is coming in? What are you looking for, Jack? I'm looking for treats, Dad. You're never too busy to give me a treat, Dad. I just gave him treats in the house. Oh, look at that. There's the Pippinator. Okay, let's, let's just see what we're going here. There's Pip. And Tippy. And they've come in here to do a little walkthrough. Make sure I'm not messing with anything. I wonder where, where, where uh, Tia is. Tia! <whistles> okay, you guys. So that's, uh, that's my uh, afternoon in a nutshell. So that's programming the kiln. That's it. Hi, Tia. Tia? <whistles> Hi, Tia. I don't know what happened there. Sometimes I press the buttons and it turns off. There's Tia's outside the door. Okay, you guys, I'm going to try to edit this thing into a, to, to, uh, to a video. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, it's a little bit left and right. It's, it's two and a half days since I started this one. It didn't go as quickly as I planned. Like I said earlier, I think I'm not feeling too well. Uh, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I'm going to edit this. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, make a comment, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And hopefully the next video I'll have my back together. Okay, you guys? Be kind to your farm animals. Be kind to your dogs. Be kind to your pets. Otherwise, don't have them, right? Okay, you guys. Have a great day.